the eight pioneers who contributed to Singapore. On the 9th of August every year, we celebrate Singapore's National Day with voices loud and clear. Little do you know, for Singapore to grow, eight incredible people played very important roles. Number 1. Munshi Abdullah Abdullah was 13 when he started to teach. To soldiers, villagers and children, he would preach. People started to call him Munshi, which means teacher in Malay. The books he wrote are used even to this day. Number 2. Teresa Su Teresa was a very kind lady. She started a free nursing home for the old and the needy. She gave them cash, food, and as much as she could to give them a hand when nobody would. Number 3. Ruth Wong Ruth was a teacher back in the day. She trained other teachers and taught them her ways. She said, working together is very useful. Now, group work happens often in school. Number 4. Tan Ka Ki Tan Ka Ki was a generous man. He donated money to build many schools on empty lands. On 12 August 1961, Tan Ka Ki passed away. However, the schools he helped to build forever will stay. Number 5. Govindasami Pillay Pillay was selfless. He did a lot of charity work. He donated money to aid in building works. The Sri Srinivasa Perumo Temple and Mount Alvernia Hospital are just a few on the list he helped at his own free will. Number 6. Alice Penfather Alice was a sportswoman, a champion in badminton. For Singapore, she won so many competitions. In tennis and hockey, she also shined. Such an amazing sportswoman, truly one of a kind. Number 7. Adnan Saidi Lieutenant Adnan was a national hero in Singapore. To defend our country, he gave it his all in the war. His courage was incredible, extremely unforgettable. With pride and respect, his name we will remember. Number 8. Henry Nicholas Ridley Ridley was the first director of Singapore Botanic Gardens. He added many plants into the garden's collection. An orchid, Vanda Miss Joachim, was one of them. Singapore's national flower, the orchid, then became. The Singapore we know today was not what it used to be. It was just a tiny island floating on the sea. Everyone joined hands and each played a part to build the Singapore we love with all our heart. The end. Voila!